Good, off Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that's not too loud. I'm here with a very, very simple message. Keep going. The Home Office is now sending officials into the camp this weekend. That is a massive development from where we were just a few weeks ago. And I am absolutely confident that that is because the British public have actually said, no, we can do this. This is a political problem. This is about having people on the ground who can help those children get an answer to what their future should be. So it is because people are talking about this issue that we are making progress. So my big message to you is to keep going. The second reason why we need to keep going is because we're still at an early stage. Now, from what we're hearing, and it's very, very confusing reports from the camp at the moment, the demolition and the evictions will take place on the 24th of October. So we've got another week, but there's still a lot to do to get in place that process. There's still a lot to do to make sure all those children have that answer, that we actually protect those people who are fleeing from persecution. So just at the point when the government are starting to listen, I'm going to ask you to raise your voices even louder, to keep saying, no, we can solve this. We can give safe passage to people. We can provide legal routes to safety to people. I'm going to ask you to keep going because in July, Citizens UK told the government about 111 children who had the right to be here under the Dublin regulations. And on the 5th of August, they told about 178 children who had the right to be here. And on the 2nd of September, they added 209 children who had the right to be here under the Dubs Amendment. And this Wednesday, I stood up in Parliament over there, and I asked the Prime Minister about the 18 of those children who have now gone missing in the time it has taken to get things moving in Calais. So I'm going to ask you to keep going and asking where are those 18 children? Because just because they're not in Calais, that doesn't stop our responsibility to help those children. I'm going to ask you to keep going because whilst I think we will get the children covered by the Dublin arrangements here in time, I want to make sure we get those Dubs children because we made a promise as a country when we passed the Dubs Amendment to help children who had nobody in the world with them. But if it was in their best interest, we would bring them to the UK and give them a new start. And we still need to get a Dubs Amendment through. And I'm going to ask you to keep going because I don't think this is the end of the matter, even if we can help all those thousand children in Calais now. That's why we're trying to pass Dubs 2. It's to put in place measures to make sure we safeguard children in Europe who need our help. So I'm going to ask you to help me make sure that the Lords pass the safeguarding amendment to the Children and Social Work Bill, and then the MPs pass the amendment to the Children and Social Work Bill, so that we're never in this position again. I need your help to make that voice. I need your help to ask Theresa May where those 18 children are, and I need your help to make sure we pass that amendment. And I'm going to ask you to keep going because it's something that I think all of us think. See, it may not look or sound like it, but I do have something in common with Nigel Farage. See, Farage, like Creasy, is a Huguenot surname. All of us are but a generation away from needing this kind of protection. And Britain is a better country when we stand together and say that we will give this kind of protection. Nigel, if you're listening, all of us wanted at some point the British people to stand up and say we are better than the division. We are better than the people who say this is not our problem. We are better than the people who say nothing can be done. Everything can be done. Please keep going. Please keep that pressure up. Please make sure that we help get those Dublin and the Dobbs kids here in the next couple of weeks and we pass that safeguarding amendment so this doesn't have to happen again and we find those 18 children because they are our 18 children. Just think what they could be. See, I represent a part of this country I like to think of as God's own country. Anybody here from Walthamstow will know why. And we've given the world many things. Two-ply loo roll, Durex and rubber gloves. And also, we trained Steve, jo Steve Jobs' predecessor, Johnny, um, who invented the iPad. And the point about Johnny is that he worked with Steve Jobs, and Steve Jobs' dad was a Syrian refugee. Now, he didn't do it on his own, but imagine what would happen if we have those kids here and the contribution they make to our communities and the improvement they'll make to all our lives when we get this right. That's why this matters. Britain will be better. I will fight as hard as I can. 
I know Yvette Cooper and Anne Gunter are fighting as hard as they can, but we need your help. We've got lots of people across the Parliament who support us, but we need your help in every community to say the difference it will make when we get this right, and we can get it right. So please, please, keep going. Thank you.